published, 1653 EDT, the 16th of May 2018, updated, 302 EDT, the 17th of May 2018 a series of anniversary screenings of the Dambusters will include the controversial name of the film's dog, it has been confirmed. The movie features a black Labrador, who was the mascot for RAF 617 Squadron, called Den. But the studio behind the anniversary screenings, which are due to take place on the 75th anniversary of the mission it was based on, said the canine's name will not be removed. A statement from Studio Canal, the distributor of the film, said, while we acknowledge some of the language used in the Dambusters reflects historical attitudes which audiences may find offensive, for reasons of historical accuracy we have opted to present the film as it was originally screened. Actor Richard Todd who played Wing Commander Gibson in the film Feeding the Dog on set celebrated feats, actor Richard Todd. As Wing Commander Guy Gibson with the dog who played N in the 1955 film The Dambusters director Michael Anderson's 1955 war film will play unedited in 400 cinemas on Thursday May 17. As part of the screening, TV historian Dan Snow will explore the history of the Royal Air Force's 1943 attack on the Moan, Edda, and Sork dams in Nazi Germany using Barnes Wallace bouncing bomb. Snow will be joined by relatives of both the film's crew and the original 617 Squadron, who carried out the raids, for a live event broadcast via satellite from the Royal Albert Hall. The last surviving British member of 617 Squadron, George John E. Johnson shared his delight ahead of their Films return to the big screen and the wider commemorations blamed for the raid's anniversary. Johnson said, I think it's wonderful. I shall be most grateful for the opportunity to watch it but also to take part in this tremendous presentation to start with. That trade is stuck in my mind and it is as livid today as it was 75 years ago. To see it represented in this wonderful arrangement to me means more than anything else. When asked how accurately the film depicted the actual events, Johnson praised the performance of actor Michael Redgrave as the bouncing bomb creator Barnes Wallace. Devoted, Wing Commander Guy Gibson VC, right, with his Labrador and fellow officers hundreds of screenings are set to take place up and down the country. To mark the raid's 75th anniversary Johnson said, I was pleased to see there wasn't too much of this hail fellow well met sort of attitude. It was well portrayed. I think Michael Redgrave as Barnes Wallace was a wonderful representation of a wonderful man. And Barnes Wallace daughter Mary quite agrees with that. Johnson also shared his memories of Wing Commander Guy Gibson, who led 617 Squadron through Operation Chastise. Johnson said, his true leadership was in the attack situation. He made the first attack on the Mohan Dam. Not only was he dropping his bomb, he was assessing its defense. As he called each aircraft in, he flew alongside them. That to me says you are doing this, I'm doing this, we're doing it. Together apostrophe dot it is the essence of a good leader in the attack situation. But he was very difficult to get on with outside of that dot the 4K restoration of the dam busters and there. Accompanying live broadcast from the Royal Albert Hall will appear in cinemas across the UK on May 17th.